so to the superbly simple recipe that's perfect for a high-flying eagle or indeed anyone who cares about good food. A mountain of potatoes slowly simmered, then mashed with a horseradish cream and other ingredients and served topped with fish. So there's some protein, lots of carbohydrate. Now, Guy's going to help me with the simple recipe. Off we go. First to the fish. I'm using farmed Tasmanian salmon, but any fine white fish would also do for this dish. I usually get my fishmonger to skin it and to remove the small bones, and I check that there are none remaining. Once I've checked that all the bones are removed, I cut the fish into fingers. Although the fish is naturally uneven in shape, being thick at one end and thin at the other, this technique allows for all servings to be the same size. Now I take a couple of pieces stand them on their side with the skin side touching and they're overlapped and folded to make a neat parcel. Now I tie the parcel loosely with butcher's string, just one small knot, making sure the string is cotton and not plastic. There, that's my one. How about having a go yourself, Guy? Thank that's it. Much. On the side. Excellent. Now the reason I do this is because it now guarantees that all the pieces of fish will be the same thickness They'll be seared on the outside, but the insides will be beautifully rare, almost uncooked. Now, if you can just tie a knot in that, it'll be perfect. The salmon can either be fried or you could barbecue it. Just brush it lightly in a little olive oil. This is, in fact, cooking in a little olive oil, which, of course, is low in saturated fat. Now, to deal with those potatoes. These have been peeled, cut, and then simmered very gently in lightly salted water. They're in fact the only vegetable I cook in salted water. Once that's happened, I drain them and then leave them on the heat for a few moments to let the excess water evaporate before I mash them. On this occasion, Guy, perhaps you wouldn't mind putting a bit of elbow grease into that. Love to. Now, while you're still doing that, I'll add a few more ingredients. First of all, a little butter. Is that make it easier? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a little freshly ground black pepper, some grated nutmeg, this is the only exercise I'm going to get. A little horseradish makes a wonderful addition to this. Or you could use the Japanese wasabi, which is a lot hotter. You know wasabi? I've got no idea. Delicious, but very, very potent. So, Guy, while you're mashing, I'll turn the fish over. It's had its two minutes. Now some olive oil. A little extra virgin olive oil. And a final addition of some chives. You could also use spring onions if you couldn't get chives. That's colour as well as flavour. And that looks fantastic. Back to the fish, which I remove and allow to sit or stand in a warm place. Then I deglaze the pan with a little vinegar. I'm using a balsamic vinegar. And I add a little mirin, which is like a sweet rice wine. This will cut the acidity of the vinegar and will make a delightful sauce. Now just stick your nose over there and smell that starting to come good. Mm. Yes. And it's time to plate up. And what a formidable effort. I think that's enough, thank you, Guy. If I could just hand pass you the spoon. You can serve yourself on that side. I'll serve myself on this side. Oh, potato. Mm. Make a little nest in there. I see the Guy's still going with the potato. Well, that's fine, because what I'll do is I'll put my fish onto my little nest, and I'll take away the string. And uh, I'm sure the guy will be finished soon, and we can show you enough there, guy. I would actually probably put on another one or two more. Yeah, and because you will be playing. Growing lad, and yeah. You are a growing lad. A little nest there for this eagle. Now, you can put your fish on there, remove the string. That's it. Onto the potato it goes. Oh, yes, see? And the little pan juices can go off the top there. And you can pour on that superb liquid. The mixture of balsamic vinegar and the mirin, that rice, sweet rice wine. So to the fork test. A fork for you, fork for me. Let's get into it. Mm. How's it for you? The potato's nice. Mm, the fish? Fabulous. Beautiful.